Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Hector Martinez once again with another video. That's right. And today we've got something very special, very unique, and very, very rare. What you're looking at right now is Ring Magazine from July 1937. That's right. July 1937, and on the cover of this classic issue are two incredible heavyweight greats. On the back, you've got, from Germany, Max Schmeling, and in the center, right up front, is the one and only, the legendary, Joe Lewis. That's right, and here they are, in all their glory. Now, actually, Max Schmeling was um, considered past his prime when he fought Joe Lewis, but he beat Joe Lewis. They went all 12 rounds, and he defeated Joe Lewis. But in their rematch, Joe regained the title. Now, that happened in June. Now, here we have Max Schmeling and Joe Lewis, but you know the reason why I have featured this magazine in this video. A lot of Bruce Lee collectors can see something very, very familiar. You know what I'm talking about. But before we get to that, let me just say that uh, Bruce Lee was a fan of wrestling, a fan of, a fan of boxing, who considered Muhammad Ali as the greatest of them all. And he collected many rare magazines and uh, Super 8 or 8 millimeter film of boxing matches. Back then, you know, they didn't have any VHS. So he collected a lot of the, um, a lot of the footage and magazines to keep up with the latest in, uh, in pugilism. And Muhammad Ali was actually his favorite. Now, Bruce Lee owned this magazine. Now, let me get something straight. He did not own this magazine that I have. This is, in fact, from July 1937. And this is in my collection. But Bruce Lee also had one of these. And as you can see, this was the inspiration. That's right. For this incredible pose behind the scenes of Game of Death. There he is, the legendary Little Dragon, and the one and only, the master of the Skyhook, Karim Abdul-Jabbar, known back in the day when he was Bruce Lee's friend as Lou Alcindor. But after he embraced Islam, he became Karim Abdul-Jabbar. Now, here's the exact pose, man. Here it is. That's right. This was his inspiration for this, uh, for this pose. I like what the top says. A man's reach should exceed his grasp. Robert Browning. That's right. Now, you know, I worked in the NBA. I was there for about eight years, and I met the most amazing basketball players. The most amazing, let's just be... Uh, specific, the most amazing athletes. I'm not a basketball fan, nor am I a baseball or a football fan. I love boxing and I love wrestling and, of course, the martial arts. But boxing, I, I am enamored with boxing. And um, uh, Mr. Jabbar uh, used to come into the building often and we would talk about Bruce Lee and uh, he mentioned that... Um, uh, he's got, actually, he mentioned that he's got footage of his training with Bruce Lee back in the 60s that the public has not seen. These are, this is personal footage that Bruce and Kareem uh, filmed during their uh, training uh, together back in the 60s and the 70s. So that would have been amazing to see, right? But nonetheless, this photo was given to me personally by uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He knows I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan. And throughout the years, he took care of me, man. He certainly did. I've got uh, quite a few pieces that one of these days I'm going to share with you. Here's another photo that Kareem gave me. 
And this one, he personalized it. Yes, sir. The master of the heart of the skyhook, seven foot two inch tall, Kareem Abdul Jabbar from the Lakers. So there you have it, folks. I just wanted to share this with you because, um, well, my good friend and Bruce Lee brother, uh, instructor of Jeet Kune Do, Sifu Richard Torres, actually posted uh, uh, a few days ago a. Uh, he made a he did a post on uh, this very magazine, Ring Magazine, and he compared the uh, the similarities between Joe Lewis, Max Schmeling. And, of course, Bruce Lee and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's pose. So he inspired me. I mean, it totally inspired me to, uh, to make a video. That's right. And here it is. Yes, sir. Ring Magazine, Max Schmeling and Joe Lewis, the inspiration for Bruce Lee and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The pose, the public publicity shot from Game of Death. All right, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy Tuesday. It's hot. It's humid. But you know what? Stay home. Put the air conditioner on. Have some refreshments. Relax. Watch some TV. And enjoy the rest of your evening. You guys take care out there. Peace, love, and God bless.